Everyone wants to know about how you steal balls, but we've, we've sort of glossed over the fact that probably more of your job is securing your own ball, particularly if one of your centres gets taken out of the game and you arrive a little bit late. Yeah, as a seven, people obviously look at all the breakdown stuff in defence, where how many turnovers do you get, but really, you might have 10 to 15 jackal attempts if you're pretty busy in defence, where in att attacking, you might hit 30 to 40 rucks in an international game. So attacking focus at a breakdown is probably slightly more important. So what we're going to look at here is actually when, when the opposition beat you there, you're almost at a disadvantage. They've got onto the ball and how you clear them out. So talk us through a couple of the clips we've got here, Sam. If you've either got like a ball focus or a threat focus here, uh, Bath do a great job. Harlequins have a clear threat coming into the ball here, uh, and the attacking players notice this. One on the legs, nice lever, and the other one is uh, around the armpit, crop roll as we call it. So they get rid of the threat, take them out of the game, that turns into a good clean. Similarly again, similar match, threat gets straight back up on the floor, on his feet. You can't really try and secure the ball, you have to get rid of the threat there. Good win of the shoulder battle, as we say there. This is the best example of win the shoulder battle. Real good jackal attempt here. Um, this is an immense clean. Normally that would probably result in, in a crock roll for most players, but he's got really low, he's won the height of the shoulder battle and he's uh, followed through with his feet, ended up in a real good clean. OK, well, we've set up a few situations here with our, with our demo team. So the first one we're going to look at is probably that last one. There's a little bit of separation here between the head of the, of the uh, jackal and the ball itself. What are you looking to do? If I was approaching this now, really, like I said earlier, you've got either a, a ball threat or a jackal threat, really. So um, I'd have a ball focus on in this case I don't think there's too much of a threat there so I want to come in you could have a one-man ruck in this situation so you want to get in lower than him you want to win that shoulder battle nice flat back he's gone that ball's ready to place then you can have a one-man ruck there and that ball's gone so you can create quite quick ball if the threat's not too hard on that and if his, if his head's a little bit lower there's nothing wrong with getting the back of your head under his face because if you see a, a big head coming into your face I, you tend to move out the I way. use as a rule of thumb when I when I tell kids and stuff I always if your hand can brush the floor as you're approaching a ruck then your shoulder height is low enough so that would be a good sort of tip really if you can if you can touch the floor as you approach the ruck within that one meter circle then you're in a okay, good place let's go over here slightly different scenario over here you see he's got the one foot forward he's in quite a strong base position to stop that initial hit but actually it's given him a bit of a side on so what yeah. are you looking at there well here there's obviously a clear threat so rather than a ball focus you've got a threat focus here straight away so you can see obvious levers his arms and legs there you've got no other option but to blast him out of the way and get him out of the game and rather than just hit a guy and let him go um, make sure that you get a vice on him you hold him and you take him out of the game here you probably get a nice leave on his arm and leg you get him past the ball through the gate of course but I'd make sure that you take him two meters past that ruck he's out of the game he can't bounce out and defend again and then your nine's gone so and, you're almost uh, trying to tackle him but stay on your feet yourself tackle him past the contact yeah you don't you don't want him to be involved in the next phase you've got to get him out there. okay game. the last one we've got here now this is probably the most difficult you've probably been beaten by a good good number a couple of seconds here guys locked on on the ball it's the sort of position we see Pocock or Hooper get into this is uh, this is a bit squeaky bum time isn't it yeah this is a, a typical Pocock scenario you know he's super strong over the ball and it's really hard to do you see a lot of guys they hit them they don't really budge these guys so you got to you might have to revert to the crock roll which is really the last case scenario really is probably the slowest way of cleaning what's the way. technique of a crock roll um, my first thing I would do is I'd want to hit him as hard as I could in the back here just to try and make him unstable. Then you want to get a real good grip. So you can't go around the neck now because referees have said you can't go around the head and neck. So you've got to go around his armpits here. I get a nice good grip on my hand, keep that locked in, I squeeze his arms together as hard as I could. So after the initial collision, you hit him just to make him off balance, get a real good grip, and then you just have to throw your body weight over to the left and he'll get off that ball. Perfect. So we've got to, you've been coaching our demo team, so we've got a couple of uh, guys ready to, to roll that. So the first one, if you remember, you're going to try and get in between the ball and, and and the head and clear him away. Good, he owned, like you said, he owned the shoulders there, didn't he? he? Won the shoulder battle. Okay, the next one, this was the side on one. So, again, here Sam is it, going yeah, for these levers. Threat here, so you've got to get him out of the game and off that ball. You can't focus on the ball, you've got to focus on the defending player. Okay, let's see that then. Good. Even get the head in between underneath the, the, the rib cage. Yeah, you want to so get a good shoulder contact. Lift there. up, yeah. yeah. And then the final one, the most difficult one. No pressure. Big pressure on no you, the pressure. most difficult. <laughs> Brilliant. Sam, oh, that was such a cool description. That was amazing.